Hi, my name is Akemi. I'm going to show you how to make Oshizushi. You can actually make Oshizushi with something like a food ring and a pusher. What you need is you need a bowl of water so you can keep your hands wet all the time in order to prevent the rice from sticking to your hand. The ingredients we have is edamame beans, lovely juicy fresh crab, fresh salmon egg and we also have sushi ginger to garnish with. Don't forget we need sushi rice. First of all you need to dip the equipment that again is to prevent the sushi rice from sticking to it. You need about two tablespoons of rice into the ring. Each time you use pusher like this to push it down. Next ingredients are edamame beans. I'm going to chop them up into very small pieces. I can do this by hand. There we go. Again, use the pusher and push it down. Another layer is another sushi rice. We are very close to the top, about a centimeter away from the top. That's perfect. Then push it again. Next ingredient is fresh crab. If you cannot get hold of fresh crab, use smoked salmon finely chopped instead. You can even use something like um, scrambled egg. It works really well, surprisingly. Push it again. Okay, now this is the moment. You need to somehow hold the ring with your hand and lift it up while you're pressing down with pusher in another hand. Here it goes. Beautiful. And take it out completely. For the pusher, you need to twist it just a tiny bit before you remove it. So it will prevent the ingredients from sticking. Now, the garnish. Colour is of very, very important always for Japanese cooking. So I have chosen salmon egg on top. You might find the rice sticking to the chopping board. Use a knife to take it off. Like that. Then very gently place it onto plate. Sushi ginger to garnish and then sprinkle soy sauce. 